Hi, it's a beautiful day out today. I'm at Milldale, which is a few miles down the valley from where I did my last video, which was back that way. Um, it's really interesting out here. There's, uh, the colours are great, the sky's fantastic, really interesting clouds drifting around, some good shadows, great contrast. So I'm looking forward to it. I'll have to see what happens. Uh, when I come out, uh, sort of uh, sketching paintings, I often like to work on a couple of pieces um, during a session rather than just concentrating on one. And the reason I do that is partly for practical reasons, so that um, when you're, uh, you know, when I'm waiting for the paint to dry, which will probably happen pretty quickly today because it's quite warm. Um, you, know, you can go back and you can go back and work on the other one while I'm waiting for uh, the first one to dry. So as you can see, I've uh, moved location. Um, it was a bit weird. I had to I had to move from where I was. The uh, farmer started spraying the field that I was sitting in, so it was all getting a bit unpleasant. So um, I basically walked to the other side of the valley, where I don't think that's going to happen. Um, so this is still Milldale, I'm still looking in the same direction. I was over up on the top over there, but now I'm on the other side of the valley, looking down Milldale towards Dovedale. Uh, this is uh, Raven's Tour, uh, you can see behind me. So, um, I mean, I hadn't got too far with the paintings anyway, so it doesn't really matter, so <laughs> I don't mind. And uh, I'll carry on from here. Okay, so um, obviously it's all a bit different over this side, but um, it doesn't really matter. I hadn't uh, got terribly far with the paintings anyway, so uh, I could just start from here. The paint's gone... Uh nice and dry anyway in the meantime so it's a decent surface to start working on. It's really nice to try and focus on the darks and the lights and the big shapes, contrast, not get too worried about specifics. Getting really bound up in drawing, particularly. Just trying to get a sense of the atmosphere of the place that I'm in. It's kind of ideal uh, painting weather for acrylic painting today because it's it's drying really fast on the on the canvas. So each layer is dry, drying very quickly, so I'm able to work over the layers underneath without picking them up again. I think it's quite important in my painting that when I'm trying to get this kind of energy into it, that the, the types of marks that I make, the sort of gestures are, have to be, you know, you want to make a, a bold mark and you have to really make it and not muck about with it too much, just be decisive. You know, not every not every time you put something down it's gonna be brilliant, but I think if it's decisive and if it's positive and it all adds to the general effect. I'm trying to get the feeling of this dark shadowy valley area with these bright sunlit hills around it so just trying to get a general sense of that feeling and again not trying to be too specific about the drawing just trying to get that general sense of the, the shadowiness and the bright sun on the hills I think because 
first one I feel like I've been a little bit more aggressive with this one so I kind of feel I can go back to this this one again and try and bring some of this sort of mark making into into here so it's uh, it's a little this one starts it's starting to feel a bit fiddly now that I've done this this second one yeah so now I feel like I was being a bit bolder with the uh, the second second painting I feel like I need to get some more of that sort of stuff into this one so uh, well that's the beauty of uh, having a couple on the go or even three you know that could be good yeah it's particularly you know when I'm working this this kind of size because you can get a lot done quite quickly on this scale uh, you don't have to uh, You don't have, have a big area that you've got to fill with paint. You, know, it's, uh, you make very bold marks um, without too much trouble on this scale. So yeah, it's good to have you know, at least two going. And it keeps them fresh. It stops them getting stodgy. Gives me something to that I can relate to. You know, I can be looking at this one while I'm doing this one, thinking, "Oh, I quite like all this sort of stuff here. Those sorts of marks are good." I'll do a bit more of that in this one. I hope you can hear what I'm saying. It's a bit windy, so uh, I'll try and speak up a bit. quite liking some of these bits that I've got here but again I worry that I was going to start to fiddle around with it and uh, it'll start getting uh, bitty and I'll start losing the the energy that I've, I've got into it so I think this is a really good point to stop and come back to this one again there's a lot more going on in this in this one now so um, I think it's a really good process and I whenever I'm doing any uh, any teaching I'll always encourage people to you know to have you know two or three on the go just for this reason because you know now I know that that's going to start getting fiddly and I can stop leave it and I can come back to this one and I could just work them backwards and forwards it keeps them fresh there's quite nice bits of sort of ready stuff in the uh, yellow one I was just doing so I thought I might just go a bit mad and see what happens if I get some of this really stronger colour in here okay so one of the great things about working outside in this sort of weather with acrylic paints I know I can stick this down here and it doesn't really matter where I put it because it's gonna it's gonna dry really fast so I'll be able to work over it so I don't want this much of it here but it'd be really nice to have some little bits of these stronger hotter colors coming through of it. I can see some um, I think it's gorse that's down there that's right down this flowering and it's it's a pretty hot color so it'd be nice to have some some of that stronger warmer colors through it it balances out all the greens and blues
just uh, shifted everything around a little bit to get a better angle. Um, I was getting a lot of shadow on it as I was working, so I've moved everything around a little bit, but I can still see the same uh, view that I was looking at before. That's probably a good time again to switch back to this one. Um, I think just going backwards and forwards, you know, every time you do something on, on one, you kind of think, oh, yeah, that, that one I was working on just now looks all right, but it's looking a bit boring again. So, backwards and forwards.
I think that's probably about it for today. Uh, I've got a couple of little paintings on the go. I have a feeling that they may need a little bit more work, um, but you never know. I often find that when I get back to the studio, that's the point where I find out what I've got when I'm out and about. It's uh, very difficult to really tell whether the results are what I wanted, so um, we'll have to see.